Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your prosperity reading. And this is a timeless reading for prosperity. Prosperity is not just about money. Um, it's also about opportunities and your energy. So Cancer, this is a general read. Pick what resonates and drop the rest, okay? So this is an Abundance Oracle deck. So we're going to pick three cards and see where we go from there, all right? So here we go. And we have here expansiveness. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego, right? To expand with the spiritual self rather than the ego self. And we have sanctity through offering even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. Nice. Sanctity. And then we have here clearing. As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust and the more will always arrive. You shift from mind, mind, mind to God's, God's, God's. Okay. <clears throat> this is freedom, isn't it? Okay. And we're going to look at the tarot deck and see what we get for you. So Cancer, I like to encourage you to check out my other channel. It's a relatively new channel called Musings from the Past, Present and Future. And I teach consciousness work, shadow work. And if you are serious on a spiritual path, that will be a channel to check out. And uh, I do live classes there. So there's a new live class coming up very soon. So do subscribe and watch out for details, okay? Let's see what we get. We have King of Wands here. King of Wands here is really about wisdom. All right, having a vision for the future. Uh, let me cut the deck. Vision for the future and holding the wisdom together. And then we have here, this is 17, isn't it? 17 is the star. You can make a wish for your abundance, Cancer. Two of Wands. Okay. Two of Wands is about planning, strategizing. And this is six, right? <laughs> the lovers merging. Very nice. Six of Wands. <clears throat> Okay, so Six of Wands is about victory and admiration. Very nice energy is coming in for you in terms of your prosperity. I feel like um, cancer, you really need to hold it together um, in terms of really expressing your wisdom and, and holding that vision uh, for the future if you would like to manifest more opportunities and more abundance, prosperity in your life. It's also a time to merge with the higher wisdom and not to see the wisdom as a separate part of yourself, but to see it as really a part of you, right? And you have the stars being aligned with you during the season to allow you to exercise that, you know? And ask yourself also, how can you utilize wisdom in your everyday life? right? And if you use your common sense, use your wisdom in your everyday life, stay in integrity, um, that's truly the way towards greater prosperity. Now, whenever we have a hiccup or whenever we act out of, in, out of integrity, that means we are not in integrity in our actions or in our words, then um, that can cause us to repel um, prosperity. Okay, because the two of wands is also about, um, you know, how are you, what sort of decisions do you, do you make? Are you planning? Are you making the right decision? Are you choosing the right things for yourself? Okay, so we have happy surprise. Very nice. If you stay in integrity, you receive some happy surprises. And you get some victory, you get admiration. Not just from people you love, but, you know, people you may not know will be able to see the good that you bring into situations. 
but the integrity is very, very important. And if you're blind to what is the right thing to do, then you should ask a second pair of eyes to help you to see what have what are you blind with about yourself. Okay, one step at a time. Lots of little steps make big, big dreams come true. Laughter. Okay, you need a good laugh. Let's see what else. I feel this is really the energies, right? Talking about choosing integrity. <clears throat> Clear out what doesn't serve you and really realign with what serves you better. Time to expand. Expansion also means to expand in integrity. You expand um, your motive behind expansion comes from um, not so an intent that is not so much an in integrity, then you'll see things falling apart. That's how your prosperity energy works. Okay, keep that in mind, Cancer. Let's see what else. Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> Excuse me. Intuition, trust your intuition. And then we have here, dragon, discover your courage. Have the courage to stay in integrity. I feel like this entire reading for you, right, when it comes to prosperity, is all about integrity. When you're out of integrity, things don't flow that well for you. And you know this from past experiences. So tempting as it may be sometimes to act out of integrity, you must do what is difficult. You must do the right thing, which is often difficult but you will be rewarded in the longer term. Okay, so Cancer, let's pick some inspiring cards from this deck. I'm gonna cut the deck. Archangel Raphael, I'm helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Schooling, study and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you in this process. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. Opportunities come your way. All you need to do is stay in integrity in whatever you do. Staying in integrity is tough, but it is what gives you results. Okay, Cancer? Um, if this message resonates with you, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you need more clarity about your personal journey, you can always book a private session and uh, feel free to comment. You know, I'd like to know how this message is serving you and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.